Wait, how was I gonna start this off? I forgot. Oh yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Listen here, Mr. Nem. Just because you have the technical ability to do something does not mean you should do it or that it sounds good. Unfortunately, this is a lesson I think Eminem has yet to learn. Eminem's rap style has gotten suckier and suckier and suckier over the course of this decade. I haven't really enjoyed anything Eminem has done since the Marshall Mathers LP. Musically and topically, Eminem used to really have it together, but these days, not so much. You know, I'm, I'm not really excited to hear this. I, I feel like this features list is sort of tone deaf. It's a lot like picking Tim Kaine as your vice president. Nobody's really excited to see, <laughs> to see it. This obviously was not an album I was expecting. Had I been expecting it, I would not have been looking forward to it. Eminem has been severely, severely disappointing this decade, to say the least. And it's because of tracks like this, where you get the worst of the worst in terms of this new rap style that he has embraced, where he's just sounding angry, constipated, all of his words need to start and stop really aggressively. Even just from a technical standpoint, Eminem's rapping is just really staccato and aggravated and weird. It's like he's constipated while rapping, if you could be such a thing. Keep in mind this track and the entire album kicks off with Eminem muttering into the microphone. I feel like I want to punch the world in the fucking face right now. <sighs> so dramatic. There are some songs on those older albums that even today when I return to them I cringe a little bit inside. I can't believe we're just two minutes into this thing. Oh, okay. Let's see if it, it's probably going to get worse from here. This new Eminem record could be good and who knows, maybe this new track will grow on me as I listen to it in the context of the rest of the record, which should be dropping pretty soon. Uh, apparently it's going to be another installment of sort of the the R series, the re recovery and uh, relapse and so on and so forth. So uh, it'll be interesting to sort of see if Eminem can actually pull through in that series with a fantastic record. Wow. Wow. This album's bad. It's... It's really bad. Some of his cringiest and worst bars ever turn up on this LP. Some of the worst production he's been on too. It's like he doesn't even give a shit about how his beats sound anymore. Features generally on this thing, terrible. X ambassadors, Jesus Christ. And some of his uh, worst song topics too. And it's just so goddamn long. Like, going into my review of this thing, I thought people were just kind of being hyperbolic and over-exaggerating, because you always have people every time Eminem drops a record, oh, it's his, it's terrible, oh, it's, you gotta be an idiot to like Eminem, blah, 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 but man, they were, they were not lying. The negativity that he is getting is just kind of a reflection of all the negativity that he's put out into the world over the course of his career. I know being purposefully corny has always been a weapon of M&M's, but there are just some moments here where the jokes just aren't that funny. I get dough like Ed Sheeran, so call me the gingerbread man. I actually just shit on my last chick because she has what my ex lacks. Ex lacks, get it? Ex lacks. Media journalists can get a mouthful of flesh and yes, I mean eating a penis. Yeah, dude, it's an Eminem album. We know you mean eating a penis. Your booty is heavy duty, like diarrhea. Yeah, it's just stomach churning. It's sickening. I can't stand it. Is anyone laughing at this? Is, is this actually comedy? And while, yeah, I know that Eminem throws a lot of wordplay and double entendres out there, they all add up to just some really cheap humor or are slight rehashes of the same kinds of jokes Eminem has been telling for years. Sitting at 9.1 above every other hip hop album ever, was Eminem's new record music to be murdered by as if, yes, by user score, it was the greatest hip hop record of all time, which I, I don't even know if the most delusional Eminem fan thinks that. He sounds like a, 
a malfunctioning tone-deaf robot who is like finding out what uh, feelings are for the first time. And what the hell is this ugly, completely unlistenable, jagged, melodic flow backed up with these synth strings that Eminem hits us up with in the last leg of the song? To my partners, I can't say how sorry I am. This is not how I plan for our story to end. I love all of you, man, but I can't be the guy. That is the worst sounding flow I've heard this year. That That is that is such a horrendous flow. He's watching you talking to like Apple wristwear. Oh God, what? That was stupid. That was st <laughs> This record is so annoying, especially with his aggressive er, er, growly staccato flow that he seems to execute on nearly every track. It is not as smooth and as fun as his flows used to be. I, I hate my, my stepdad. Not to mention his yelpy vocals and the instrumental are absolutely hideous and annoying. Way to go ruining a completely good Cheech and Chong song. Eminem is right in this song though, because sometimes it can be really embarrassing to be white. This moment is certainly one of them. He says, Fucking internet bloggers, I sit in front of my computer all day and comment on everything, I'm an expert on everything, everything sucks, play the next song, and there's me! There's a picture of me! Yeah, this track is not as much a song as it is just Eminem ranting with a flow. Responding to his critics with some pretty half-assed, lazy, and boring arguments like, <laughs> I'm an artist, you guys aren't artists, you'll never be artists. I sympathize with uh, the position that he's in because I'm certainly sure it feels like that he can't do anything right. But uh, so far it does not really feel like he's doing anything right. I just bodied the beat, so that hole must have been dug, cause it just died, like food coloring does. I don't hate trap, and I don't want to seem mad, but in fact, where the old me at? The same cat who would take that feedback and aim back. I need that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying. Where is that guy? Do you know where that guy is? Do you have his email or phone number? Is he coming back anytime soon? He's telling it like it is. He's telling everybody off. Whoever dissed him or said a bad thing about his music, man, he's taking them all the task. Let's think about this honestly and objectively. Is Eminem on the receiving end of something that no other artist is, no other artist is, to any degree? that is also at his level of popularity. Because who at Eminem's level of popularity is getting this massive amount of totally uninterrupted respect, totally unquestioned legitimacy? Uh, for one, it's not Drake. People hate on Lil Wayne. Even Tupac. Even fucking Tupac. Man is dead. He just simply states that people are going to point out that he's essentially throwing a lyrical temper tantrum on this song because people didn't like his last record, which is true. You are throwing a temper tantrum on this track because you don't like the fact that people pointed out that your last album sucked. It, that's all true. It's all still true. How can I be such a garbage abusive spouse, but such an amazing dad? I guess at least M is willing to acknowledge that copycats of his style are really corny, and, and may, maybe you should take take this as a hint from the, the god to to stop. Anal beads in a split rare. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. The humor and the comedy and the wit that he delivers with his lyrics, it feels really dated. The reason that so many lyrics on Berserk don't fly for me is the same reason that a lot of rappers don't come through on the mic with lyrics and flows like, Sucka MCs, they are whack. Watch out for me, I'm on the attack. Hearing Eminem rap like this and try to deliver this level of cheese in his lyrics is like having someone run Windows 98 on a brand new iMac. Eminem goes as far as to say, don't tell me about the culture. I inspired the Hobsons and the Logics. Yeah, dude, I, I don't know if I would uh, retain bragging rights on that. <laughs> fast, 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 fast rapping. Gotta rap fast. I'm just forcing all these melodramatic tracks, all these political tracks down everybody's throat, these garbage hooks, and the production on this thing sucks. <laughs> Who gives a flying Frank Zappa what Eminem thinks about what other people think about his music? A great deal of his new album is just him acting out of being upset over what people said about his music, and yet Eminem and his fans are just 
acting like, no, no, you're the ones that are hurt. You're the ones that are upset. Also, keep in mind that Eminem only rushed Kamikaze out because Revival was so bad. Tyler, create nothing. I see why you call yourself a f bitch. It's not just because you lack attention, it's because you worship D12's balls, your sack religious. If you're going to critique me, you better at least be as good or better. Like, Jesus Christ, the dude is, is said to be bisexual. Like, what the fuck? Eminem's really uh, uh, go going against progress on this one, I guess. <laughs> it's one of the most childish album rollouts and fan reactions I've, I've really ever been subject to since I started this channel. Like, in comparison with Flower Boy, Eminem's last record revival is absolute dog shit. Like, there's no comparison. There's not a single song on revival that bests a song on Flower Boy. Even with Eminem rapping consistently over the record, like, but cannibal animal, blah, 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 a lyrical miracle, a spherical pyracle. But then Eminem comes on, he literally ruins the track. Conway and Eminem are like freaking oil and water. Like you're one of the biggest selling artists of all time. You have everything at your disposal to make a great record, and yet you have songs on this thing that sound like demos. I just feel like Eminem's just seeking to uh, uh, to piss people off here, and and maybe that's really what he's been doing all along, and it's it's only been accidental <laughs> that that his previous records, um, you know, really kind of got to the heart of something. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> <coughs> He dropped one of the worst albums of the year, easily the worst album of his career, Revival. A record that received industry-wide backlash from fans and critics alike. I know that I myself was pretty upset with the horrible guests and production, the excruciating choruses, and the obnoxious staccato flows Eminem would deliver in every track. Oh, and there's also Eminem's painfully cringy bars. How could I hit a dry spell? I'm named after the wetlands. Girl, you're just gonna have to put them other chumps on the back burner. You got buns? I got ass burners. Right now, I live in an igloo, and I'm not chilling the fuck out. So let's get turnt like a shish kebab. Twist it, ma. Like an air conditioning knob. Eminem also drops an Ariana Grande concert bombing line, which... At this point, are we really even surprised? The probability of him rapping about this was about as high as him dropping a bar, comparing a blowjob to blowing into a Nintendo cartridge, which he also does. He's just so zany. He's trying too hard. Like, dude, match the vibe of the song. For the love of God, like, just, just do something that fits in the track. Do something that complements the artist's style. Start, stop, staccato. <laughs> Musically, the song just sounds really cliche, really trite, overly dramatic. The lyrics are all about being in a relationship built on lies and taking advantage of one another. It's pretty unlikable. No, no, no reason to listen to this track ever again. You guys just want sliders. Revival is a porterhouse. It's too deep for you to get. If you don't get my music, you're retarded. Toward the end of the LP, where Shady is feeling a bit more introspective, we get the song No Regrets, which is so boring and tedious it should be illegal. And the entire second verse on this track is just cringe-worthy bar for bar. The way that Eminem fans have been desperately coming to his defense and this new album's defense is, is even sillier than some of the most ridiculous responses I've gotten to even my My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy review, honestly. Eminem is just like built up and up and up and up. And then just like at the very end, he just either hits the cringiest delivery or vocal inflection, or he's just like, my heart's not in this really, honestly. <laughs> the whole motivation behind this song seems driven less by 
Eminem's feelings about the pain he might have caused people, and more by the awkwardness that he'll feel if he doesn't wipe the slate clean before his career hits rock bottom, and he might see some of the people who he hurt face to face. Which is kind of an awful reason to apologize for anything. I mean, throughout the song you say that you didn't mean to use D12 as a stepping stone, but all signs point to yes. How he has sold millions and millions of records and his songs are mixed like garbage, I don't know. I'm unavoidable, I'm unavailable, I'm unavailable. After this, we have the song Untouchable, which could essentially be the centerpiece to a Hamilton style rap musical inspired by white guilt. You know, it's, there's there's some bars that just give you indigestion. There's also the song Venom, the closer on this thing, and of course this song is going to be on the upcoming movie's soundtrack. That's that's just perfect. I can't really comment on this song outside of saying it, it has one of the ugliest choruses I've ever heard in Eminem's entire career. Venom, get him, get him, get him, get him, Venom, adrenaline, get him, get him, ain't gonna know what hit him. Venom! 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 Ah! Yeah, there are very few songs I would say that this year sounded more displeasurable than this. How is this real life? How How is this a real thing that a mainstream artist does on their song? Or two, because I'd murder you straight bitches by turning the gaze on you! Okay. You're not really, like, owning the haters or anything. You're taking the weakest and the most watered down and the most dumbed down critiques of your record and sort of just thrusting those up and pushing them over as opposed to really kind of getting down to what made this album your weakest record and really kind of addressing that. The song Tragic Endings literally sounds like a demo. The mix sounds like crap. It sounds like a demo song. Why is it on this album? I know it might be hard to hear that past Eminem's annoying yelled vocal harmonies on the, tr on, on the track, something I wish he would stop doing. I bet you guys would have liked my last album if it was auto-tuned. Okay, we get it. You can rap fast. It's basically like watching somebody jerk off fast at this point. It's not that impressive. He rhymes Nazi with not see and generally with generally. Maybe Eminem just really doesn't have it in him to do anything other than just shrug in song and say, hey guys, I'm having a hard time charting myself at this point, okay? It just seems like Eminem thinks the audience that he wants to relay this message to is really stupid. He does put out a simile though where he, he compares himself uh, with a liar's pants saying he's on fire though. It's a bit much. The hook kind of makes me laugh. Uh, maybe not in a way that Eminem intended, but that's, I guess that's an upside. The artists out there who are very much influenced by what he does, they're either influenced strictly by the best and earliest records in his career, or uh, they number as some of the cringiest and most awful and unpalatable rappers uh, in the game right now. I think M sort of botches the hook on this thing like he did his marriage. Now you're just bitterly attacking young, talented artists who are making better projects than you right now. It's, it's, uh, ugh, it's, it's just really hideous. It's just a really hideous song to listen to. Like the song Legacy, which has an incredibly melodramatic hook with a really basic rhyme scheme. Legacy, me, see, guarantee. Because this type of pickle we're in's hard to deal. As, as in, as in, <laughs> As in like deal, like dill, like a dill pit. Eminem's humor is either not landing or it's just not there because he is way too angry and self-serious. And I actually presume that's because he's legitimately angry and taking himself way too seriously to get a lot of his points across effectively. Damn, he really hates his deadbeat dad. I think this song just goes to show that all the money in the world cannot buy good taste. It, it apparently cannot buy good production either. I wish Eminem would just light a fire under his ass like he did on, on Marshall Mathers LP too, but I just fear that he's never gonna do that again. And uh, that, that record is really just kind of gonna kind of go down as a fluke. Which I think inadvertently is kind of a statement about Eminem digging himself so far down into a hole of mediocrity that he's literally lost all touch with the outside world and, and he he's the only person who he 
who he can can talk to. On top of that, you consistently shit on these younger rappers for being materialistic and mumbly and so on and so forth and, and just rapping about their chains. Meanwhile, you help put on 50 Cent. Eminem is on his deathbed on this track and he's still writing bars like there's a bunch of dudes in the emergency room going, oh! ends the album flushing the pills down the toilet, which is actually kind of fitting for this album to end with the sound of a toilet flushing. Mr. Nem, you have my phone number. We'll, um, we'll talk. And, uh, yeah, I wish, I wish you all the luck in the world with your rippity raps and, um, you know, continue, uh, being successful. All right? Thank you. Thank you.